at a time when there has been a lot of Chamisa-inspired state-level transformation, including total regime change in Emerson Umingagwa's home country in the last three years. Controversial activist Hopewell Chinono has called on people to drop their faith in the opposition he says has failed to speak out against military threats. Ironically, this is the same opposition group that Chinono has advised the military to descend on regularly since 2018. As he tells the Ministry of Defense this must be done in order to reduce or avoid tension. In the period from 2018 to 2024, Chinono has been advising the military to regularly descend onto the civil society, while accusing the Nelson Chamisa-led opposition of being tensionists requiring regular attacks by the army. HTTPS colon slash slash x dot com slash semi slash status slash one seven three seven four zero one nine two two nine zero zero eight five two eight five three question mark t equals sign o c z six w m c v o g k k w y p v l c i r seven w s equals sign one. Since the twenty eighth of May twenty twenty. Before his first arrest by the military government he advises, Chinono has also been executing, do nothing, algorithm attacks against the opposition's conversations. A cluster of Saka Mucheda say? Shona words he has subtly coordinated together with ZANU PF propagandist Passion Java, Wiknel Shavail, and Hubert Angel, which are meant to demoralize and confuse civil society so that they lose faith in their ability to innovate initiatives to change their politics the way civilians of other countries, such as Zambia, Kenya, and South Africa, have. The following screen print shows how Chinono's first, do nothing, algorithm attack on the 28th of May 2020, containing military threats by Mningagwa, was merely self-promotional to announce himself as the daddy who can fix everything. His last do-nothing attack up to the first Gold Mafia documentary broadcasts was on the 14th of April, 2023, when he harassed the parliamentary prosecutors of the wrongdoing, the opposition, by hashing them down with the same statement. Writing on Tuesday, Shinono, who has changed his own surname Makusha after his best friends were convicted of serious money laundering, called on Zimbabweans to ditch faith in the Nelson Chamisa-led opposition. He said he will not participate in any electioneering as there are no reforms in Zimbabwe, which he said the opposition has failed to effect. As a military state, Zimbabwe has had no electoral reforms at all since 1897, historians reveal. He wrote in full, saying, Dear Zimbabweans, After listening to the speech by the commander of the Zimbabwean army, General Anselm Namo Sanyatwi, and experiencing the silence from Zimbabwe's key opposition leaders after its release, I am sorry to say I will never get myself involved in elections ever again until reforms are done. I will also not invest my time and money mobilizing youths to register to vote for elections whose outcomes are predetermined, never again. What the general said is unconstitutional. But it is our lived reality. Elections are rigged and we don't have a strong opposition that can fight back. The general's statements basically confirm what many of us have said for years. That Zimbabwe's elections are a farce, a theater production where the script and the ending have been written in advance by the ruling party. A production where the ruling party candidate has the election results in his pocket before the date of the election. And when the opposition fails to speak out against such blatant threats, it is easy for our people to lose faith in the democratic process. I am sorry to tell that I have lost that faith. Meanwhile, Chinono has also been claiming to the army that the entire civil society is corrupt, all at the side saying they are poor and should not question him because none of them has a house like him. These claims have led people to want to inquire concerning his property acquisitions, as his claims to wealth point to illicit wealth. A quick check on Chinono's background reveals inconsistent claims of a dishonest kind. And the property acquisition boasting man who changed his own name when his best friends were convicted of money laundering has claimed he purchased his first home from a 1996 UK sports car loan. When asked for the name of the funder bank or dealership, he replies, saying people who are asking him for this detail are being motivated by hate, just as he fails to name the institution for verification. 
journalist Hopewell Chinono is at the center of a growing controversy due to contradictory statements about his wealth's origins, particularly surrounding a mysterious £50,000 credit and property ownership. Chinono initially claimed his foray into property was funded by a £50,000 credit from a UK institution or company for a sports car in 1996. He recounted how Dr. Tenai Mabarik, a mentor, advised him to invest in real estate rather than luxury items, stating, I was sitting in my £50,000 sports car as a confused 25-year-old. Dr. Mabarik asked if I knew I could buy a house in Zimbabwe for the same price. It changed my life. Notably, Chinono has not disclosed the name of the UK institution or company that provided this significant credit, leading to speculation and questions about the legitimacy of this claim. However, in a recent twist, Chinono has shifted his narrative to acquiring properties from selling cell phones between 2003 to 2006. He detailed the challenges and adaptability required for his mobile phone business in Zimbabwe heavily relying on Air Zimbabwe for importing phones. This stark contradiction in his stories has raised serious questions about the true source of Chinono's wealth. The lack of clarity is compounded by his avoidance of crucial questions regarding his financial history in a 2021 interview with Jeff Nairoda, and the mystery surrounding his first 10 years in the UK, where he changed his name from Makusha. Further complicating matters are allegations from multiple complainants of credit and check fraud committed by Chinono before his name change. A human rights activist from the NHS, critical of Chinono's support from Nelson Chamisa's opposition party, accused him of actions potentially harmful to Zimbabwe. Additionally, women from his high school days allege misconduct, and Dr. Mabarik's family has expressed concerns about the use of their name in supporting his property claims. The situation leaves the public and authorities grappling with numerous unanswered questions. The critical issue remains the unnamed UK institution that purportedly granted Shinono a £50,000 credit, a detail that could shed light on the origins of his property empire. This lack of transparency, coupled with the serious allegations against him, demands a thorough investigation into Chinono's financial history and business dealings. Analysis before he discloses the UK institution he says sprung him into property ownership with a £50.000 credit for a sports car in 1996 at the age of 25, political commentator Hopewell Chinono on December 27, 2023 rushed to announce another riveting colorful claim that he acquired properties rather from selling cell phones a decade later. He has now fast-forwarded his own story to 2003 to 6, way before disclosing the name of the UK institution that gave the immigrant £50,000 credit at 25, a sports car which he exported to Zimbabwe without its log book and which he illegally sold so to buy his posh Chisipite home. In all his social media postings, the man drops colorful inspirational claims that divert the reader from the main question which is the source of his £50,000 credit that he says sprung him into property affluence. So far, Hopewell Chinono's first 10 years during the period he changed his own name from Makusha remains mysterious and during interviews as the one done by his former employer. The respected investigative journalist Jeff Nairoda in 2021 link below in the comments area he failed the most basic proceeds of crime test. By avoiding answering the crucial questions on the origins of his money he used to change his name and acquire vast properties without a single salary wage paper trail to show for it. So far, multiple complainants have come up some on full-color video to say they witnessed Hopewell Chinono doing both credit and check fraud before he changed his own name and some of his own personal friends from those times were convicted of fraud in the range of millions of pounds. One of the complainants is a human rights activist working in the NHS who decided to dump Nelson Chamisa's opposition party over its support for him when he was first arrested and slapped with dismissible political charges of incitement to violence in 2020. And she said back then Hopewell Chinono would soon destroy Zimbabwe because what he did to her son bullying him and his father on the WhatsApp platform without remorse, if he does it to Zimbabwe. There won't be a chance of a reversal. 
Some of the complainants are women who are speaking since his 1989 high school days at Marlboro, Harare where he allegedly bullied his own headmaster. Arison Chiwer who had allowed him into the institution despite poor GCSEs. Women since those days allege harrowing accounts of a sexual misconduct level. Last week, he posted an allegation accusing a politician pointedly Nelson Chamisa of paying the women who have been speaking since the days when Chamisa was a nine-year-old minor. To date, Dr. Mabarik's family has told Zimai they are concerned at the way he uses their family name to validate his claims of property ownership.